joined now by the Big Ten Championship Game MVP, Connor Cook. Connor, when we talked to you, I, I, you remember being at the basketball game, right, in yep. the winter when we brought our show out there, and we talked about your decision to come back. And you said flat out, hey, this is about getting to the college football playoff and getting to places that we didn't get this year. You're going there now. What does it feel like? It's pretty surreal. You know, um, talking about it early in the year, it's one thing because it's all talk and to finally be sitting here, um, you know, after the season and, and just sitting here with you guys and celebrating the locker room and knowing that we won our conference, we won the championship, and, and we're going to the college football playoff. Put, our, put ourselves in a situation like that, it, it's so surreal, you know. Um, you know, it just it just goes to show that no matter what was thrown in front of us, all the adversity we had to face with or, or, or were faced with, um, that we were going to keep fighting and that we weren't going to let anything, you know, stop us. And uh, it was kind of like the next man up mentality with, with guys falling on the O-line and guys in the defense. Uh, and then me not being able to play in Ohio State and Tyler O'Connor coming in and, and filling in and doing a great job. Um, it's just a mentality that we have and um, just goes to show that you can go, go a long way with that. The last drive was just incredible, 22 plays. <clears throat> but before that, you, you had some struggles offensively. What, what was... What was the biggest challenge about the Iowa defense? Yeah, they uh, they stopped the run, and we were getting uh, we were putting ourselves in a lot of third, third and long situations, and we weren't converting. So, um, anytime you're uh, going up against a great defense like that, and and you're uh, putting yourself in a, in a third and long situation, it's hard to convert. Um, so, credit to them for for doing that and playing great defense. Having to bounce back, struggling a little bit. But right down there, you made a heck of a play keeping the ball. Did you have any intentions on pitching it? Oh, on the, the, on the play at the, oh, right the option, down the fourth the down? Option, yeah. Uh, not really. You know, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of times, I mean, all the times that we've ran that, you know, the guy, there is a pitch key, and uh, the pitch key usually goes to the back and takes the pitch away. So um, I, I tried to, you know, fake the pitch and try and, you know, knife it up and get as, as many yards as possible. And um, that was actually the same play we ran against Ohio State in the uh, Big Ten Championship game back in 2013 on the fourth down. So kind of funny that it worked out that way. You've been in a lot of big games at Michigan State. How's this one compare to some of the other ones you've been to? Gosh, you know, look, looking back, I mean, we've been in a lot of big games, like you said, but, I mean, this is right right up there just, just in the way that we, we did it. And, and for it being, you know, my last year, you know, me and Shalik's last year, the seniors last year, uh, to go out, you know, victorious, to, to go out and uh, be conference champions, um, being a senior, you know, coming back, you know, for this goal, for something like this, and to uh, finally be living it out, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. How physical was this game? extremely physical. I mean, you saw it. I mean, us and uh, Iowa, I think, are the two most physical teams in the Big Ten. You know, they like to play smash mouth football. Uh, we like to play smash mouth football, and, and it was kind of just, you know, run it down. Wh- who's ever throat, you can run it down in and see who's going to win. So, um, you know, struggle in the past game, try to run the ball a little bit more, obviously, in the last the last drive. Uh, it's what we did, and um, you know, credit to the O-line. You know, uh, you know they, they did so well today, and, and to, to be so clutch um, in the last drive, and for LJ to run run his butt off the way he did, and um, you know being so young, you know put, being thrown in a situation like that, and we've kind of used you know multiple backs this year, and, and for our LJ to be in there um, and making the plays that he was making, he was bouncing off guys, getting yards after contact. Um, you know he's playing like a grown man, so you know credit <laughs> to him and credit to the O line. How are you feeling physically? <clears throat> I mean, obviously you've had the shoulder issue. It seemed like at times today you were a little bit off. How is your shoulder? Yeah, shoulder's good. Um, obviously, there's a little soreness there, but um, it's more soreness. It's not pain. So, um, you know, I can deal with soreness, and I can go out there, and I can play with some soreness. It's just not, you know, if there's pain, you can't go out there and do it. But um, body feels good. Uh, it's going to be nice to have a couple weeks to rest up, though. So, <laughs> I'm sure it will. Uh, when you came up here, you said to us off camera, hey, this exchange of the MVP trophy with Archie Griffin didn't go great, and you felt terrible about it. I just want to give you right. an opportunity to say whatever it is you want to say. Yeah, um, so I checked Twitter, and, and everyone was, you know, uh, talking all sorts of, you know, crap to me, saying that you know, it was very disrespectful, and I'm not a disrespectful guy. You know, I would never by any means disrespect anyone, especially a man like Archie Griffin. Um, it was me caught up in the moment, uh, you know, trying to celebrate with my teammates, and, and the way I grabbed the trophy very looked very disrespectful, and I would never want to do that. So my apologies goes to Archie Griffin, and, uh, you know, I, I really didn't make Make it out to be like that. I would never want to be put in a situation like this. You know, you think you check Twitter and you know people would be congratulating you, and there was all these people talking smack, and then you see the video, and I was like, wow, that does look really bad. So, you know, Archie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You know, would never want to do anything like that. You know, I respect the heck out of you. You're a great football player, but um, yeah. So my apologies goes out to him. Well done, right, Connor. Very yep. good. <clears throat> all right, Connor. Congratulations on all your accomplishments, <laughs> and we look forward to being along on the next step of the journey. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Connor.